In this series, we have discussed the 37 year evolution and history of The Simpsons, but now we turn to the evolution of the characters' voices. In this instalment, I'll take a look at the voice of Marge Simpson, provided solely by actress Julie Kavner. As an ensemble performer on The Tracy Ullman Show, a sketch comedy variety TV program which ran from 1987 to 1990, Kavner was chosen to voice Marge in the initial series of Simpsons cartoon shorts used in the program. Marge Marge's voice changed very little between the Ullman shorts and the transition to full length series, with Kavna using her natural voice for the role with a slight gravelly flourish. Over time, Marge's voice has only changed with the natural ageing of Kavna, something that seems incredibly drastic in later seasons. In fact, Marge has seen arguably the most drastic evolution of any core character as Kavna seems to struggle to continue with the voice. In this video, we will explore Marge's voice through the Tracy Ullman Show shorts and every season of the series, charging her gradual but evident natural evolution across a near four decades. In this companion edition of Cartoon Evolution. <laughs> Good night Lisa, sweet dreams, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Fresh chocolate chip cookies. Oh, don't touch those yet. They're very, very hot. Let's take turns yelling into the canyon. Lisa, you start. This is my favorite time of the day. Just you and me making a hearty breakfast for the rest of the family, stoking their little furnaces for the busy day ahead. No. Hello. Well, Homer and I are looking forward to your visit, too. Here you go, kids. Special lunches. Lots of good things for growing bodies and some treats just for fun. Here's more treats. But don't worry, your dad will take care of dinner. I'm cataloging the violence in these cartoons. I don't think adults have ever actually sat down and watched them before. What kind of warped human being would find that funny? <laughs> okay, let's see. Ahoy, mateys, if the water turns blue, a baby for you. If purple ye see, no baby thar be. I'm sure you won't enjoy it. There's nothing about bowling in the play. Oh, wait, there is. Hmm. Well, bye. Yeah. Everything before the high-speed chase was just lovely. Sure, okay, I'll talk about Father. Father Christmas, that's what they call Santa Claus in England. They drive on the wrong side of the road there. Now that's crazy. <laughs> People are always saying how small England is, but you couldn't fit it all in here, not by a long shot. <laughs> you know what, I'm cured. There's no place left to run, Bart. Hand it over. Oh, Bart, I can't believe you did this. Oh, sweetie, this is the best present a mother could get. Mm -hmm. Love you so much, my little bitty Barty. I was just with Dr. Hibbert. He said I was under a lot of stress and should get some help. Well, I was thinking we could hire a nanny to help me out. Homie, please, I never ask for much, but this is something I really need. Stop this madness, it's just a washcloth. Besides, it's mine. Yoink. Come on, come on, get that corpse off the road. The streets are for the living. No, oh, great. What do I do? You guys never use any of this stuff. Look at these. You bought them after the Nagano Olympics and never skied once. If you would just stop being so impulsive, maybe. Hey, Welcome to freeing the artists within. Not literally, of course. <laughs> Okay, now I wanted to paint fresh fruit, but the prison cafeteria would only give me sauerkraut. Our phone bill is $400. They charged us for a call to Brazil. Homer, they must have made a mistake. We'll just go down to the phone company and straighten it out. Homer, how come you never sang a song like that to me before? Homie, I could use a little more excitement in my life. Hmm, maybe I'll just keep these. It's too nice a day to be outside doing chores. Come in and watch TV. I'm not fooling around, people. Park your keisters in front of that TV. Now. Well, hmm. Oh, we finally found out why the dog was scooting around on his butt all day. Turns out he had an impacted anal gland. You invited me to your treehouse? Wow! 
That's like Bruce Wayne letting his mother into the bat club. I just found this note in Bart's room. Dear Mom and Dad, me and my girlfriend Darcy have gone to Utah to get married. FYI, she's pregnant. What is the point of going to church every Sunday when if someone we love has a genuine religious experience, we ignore it? Right, Grandpa? I believe what happened in church was a warning about precisely this. Please, get rid of that pig. Oh, <gasps> Homer. It was you! You single-handedly killed this town! You didn't listen to me after I warned you! I get $50,000 a hit! How much do you make? All those nights I thought you were out getting drunk? You were out killing people? Stop it! That's my favorite couch! Oh no! Those were for Mr. Smithers' commitment ceremony! <sighs> Homie, I've got a confession to make. I'm an erotic baker. I hit it all in the one place you never walk. <clears throat> okay, who's ready for a wedding theme knock knock joke? Start the joke. Um, knock knock. Who's there? I don't know. Did I hear lettuce? Well, not for me, you didn't. Lettuce? Who? I don't know. Let us congratulate the new couple. The moms and I had a falling out, which was a shame. We had been such good friends. We called ourselves the cool moms. Maybe we could get back together. Homie, I don't want you to feel excluded. Would you like to come with us to dinner at El Camistri? Oh, right. I remember we all got in. And by the way, that back seat is pretty tight for the kids. I mean, I don't know what we'd do if we had another baby. <gasps> with this car... We're basically saying no more babies. Hair volumizer. Cologne. Homie, oh, you look like an MBA coach. Mm. Mm. Mother Hubbard Central expects you to buy a lot of stuff from them. Uniforms, fixins. It's like they don't care if you make money as long as they make money. What kind of corporation does that? I think you don't like that I'm just as good at Mars as you. Maybe even better. Oh. <gasps> Well, it looks like the ego has landed. Okay, I read this whole book while your father was hospitalized for food poisoning, and it changed my life. I want this house to reach what the monks call the state of entitlement. Okay, but I'm warning you, I'm not good at drawing turtle feet. So if there are any turtles in this, they're going to be wearing sneakers. I finally understand why you had to come here. So how do we get it home? I worry about it in my carry-on. I'm going to need a lot of glow. Thank you. These are locally sourced dungarees in Pendleton flannel. It's what Jill Sobiel wore when she played the crystal ballroom. Okay, but never like this, with the sour attitude and the black booties. You've become a crab. No, a pill. You listen here, young man. Just because you're embarrassed by your own behavior is no reason to lash out at me. I'm the one person in town who feels sorry for you, and even I've about had it. Now apologize. It was fine. I mean, look me in the eye and tell me where the GIF was. Tell me. What is so important that you pulled me out of work? If this is about the melatonin gummies, I can stop whenever I want. We have to meet the new neighbors before they hear about us. From the old neighbors. Murder Quimby? Dismember Quimby? Go back in time and kill baby Quimby. You're endangering the lives of public officials. My wonderful babies. You went to all that trouble for me. I wasn't an afterthought. I was a thought. <laughs>